I'm uh, Ross Kerr from Dune Silver Kerr Architects and uh, we're obviously uh, here at the Stowaway Hotel in Waterloo and we've won the welcoming prize um, which we're absolutely delighted about. Essentially uh, the project is a 20 room um, containerized hotel scheme on Lower Marsh in Waterloo which is a conservation area, very quirky neighbourhood and uh, I think everyone loves a shipping container, there's some sort of romantic notion about them. We see them every day, you see them on ships, you see them on the road. Um, and uh, I think the branding title for this one, Stowaway, very appropriate. To get a building that fitted in well with the conservation area, being a combination of brick and white stucco facades. So white was obviously the right colour for it. And we had the privacy fins that we put onto the facade, really to give the, the facade a bit of texture and also in oblique views give it a three-dimensional quality that you wouldn't really get if it was just flat containers. So that was the overall expression that um, we felt was appropriate for the conservation area and really well received by the local authority. It's a wonderful building block um, in a way. Uh, environmentally, it doesn't really want to be a building block. They're uh, notoriously, you know, unwieldy things. The natural Faraday cages, they attract an awful lot of heat, so um, heat gain's a big problem, and acoustically they perform really, really badly. So they're not at all a natural building block, um, but there's a charm and um, a romantic notion about them, um, which we're all very familiar with. So a lot of the materials are recycled, and um, materials like the plywood, which you can see everywhere, um, were all things that were picked for longevity. The acoustic attenuation and sound dampening is really, really good because the location to, obviously, we're at the rear of Waterloo Station and there is a huge amount of sound, um, which you'll see at the back, but you can't hear any of it in the room. So it's that quietness in an urban environment, I think, actually brings the whole thing together really, really well. The biggest issue, so in terms of site constraints, it was really conservation area and the, uh, the network rail um, logistics of this site being an operational site and a bomb damage site from the Second World War, so it's on the, which is why it hadn't been unlocked before. So the fact that sites in central London this close to central London haven't been developed usually means that they're, they're fraught with some kind of issue and not they really need the right individual and the right set of circumstances to come together to actually become developable. The favourite experience of this scheme actually was very soon after opening and um, we came in and there was, I think there were first guests, there was uh, an Asian family been staying here and we were all sort of hanging around in the lobby and um, they came out as the only guests and they were really nice, they said good morning and there was a little boy, I think he was about four years old and he just said, this is the best hotel I've ever stayed in and I want to stay forever. So I think that's my favourite moment on the project. Um, it's actually achieved the honest expression of shipping containers. So we haven't done anything to them. They are shipping containers, they're obviously expressed as shipping containers um, without any add-ons and um, internally yeah we've created a really quite a delightful welcoming environment so generally it seems to be a pretty happy place to be which is I think as an architect I don't think you can do better than that.